for the evening. For the evening, families and friends, good evening. Brothers and sisters, God is good all the time, and all the time God is good to you and our compliment of the season. It is all about Jesus, families and friends. It is all about the King of Kings and Lord of Law, the beginning and the end that was Savior of the world that was born today to the world. He brought joy and peace to the world, brothers and sisters. It's all about Messiah, the King of Kings and Lord of Law. Our Messiah, Jesus Christ, the Messiah of the world, the King of Kings, families and friends. It's all about Him today. Hallelujah. It's all about Him today. I come to just bring the good news to you today about Him. Families and friends, his birth, hallelujah. How he was born into this world, how he came into this world to bring peace into this world, to bring to bring joy into the world, hallelujah. He came down for the for the sins of mankind to come and die on the cross that you and I will have eternal life, families and friends. Yes, this is why he came, that we have eternal life. Hallelujah, thank you, Lord. He came to save the world. He came to his own, brothers and sisters. He was born through the Virgin Mary. Families and friends, brothers and sisters, Jesus Christ, Breath was already prophesied by Prophet Elijah Jeremiah. Prophet Jeremiah prophesied about the breath of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. And so, Father, in the name of Jesus, I want to thank you today for the blood of Jesus. I want to bless your name for who you are. I glorify your name for you. You are so good and faithful. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. I just glorify your name for you are your, you are the God that is a prayer by fire. Thank you for the blood of Jesus that was shed to sent 2,000 years ago. Thank you for Jesus coming to die, or to come and be born into this sinful old world. He came to the Virgin Mary. He came as a child, God in the flesh. Papa God, have mercy upon us. Have mercy upon us, oh God. Help us, oh God, to recognize the breath of Jesus Christ today all over the world. How special and wonderful it is that he came as a gift to the world. God gave it as a gift. Father, I want to tell you, thank you that I want to bless your name for who you are. I bless you for your people around the world. I bless you, oh God, for your kingdom reign forever and ever because he brought joy, everlasting joy. Joy to the world that he has, he's, he's born. Hallelujah. He brought joy to this world, brothers and sisters. And so, Father, I come and bless your name, oh God, that Jesus Christ breath, prayer, joy, and peace into this world. His blood never loses its power. But God, we thank you, thank you for the blood, the breath of Jesus. Thank you for this platform. It's all about trusting going in our generation. Thank you for your people that subscribe to this channel. And thank you for those that are going to subscribe in the future. I pray, oh God, for our youth, the children. I bless you, oh God, for, for every family today that's celebrating the breath of Jesus Christ. I want to say thank you, oh God, for your spirit, for your word, for your peace, for your anointing. Oh God, I just want to bless your name for you. are so good. You are so good and kind, oh God. You are so wonderful to feed us. Thank you, Father, for the blood of Jesus that cleans us, oh God. I want to tell you, thank you and bless your name, oh God. Lord, I will decree you go increase on this platform. Use me as a vessel of honor, oh God. Open my ears, my mind, my understanding, oh God, to hear from you when you speak to me, oh God. And I tell you, thank you, oh God, the Lord, this time, about in our days, in our time, in the generation, oh God, wicked generation, Father, help us, oh God, listen to your voice, to hacking onto your voice, oh Father. That will not be misled by the devil. Because the enemy came to stick here and destroy in John 10 10. He, stay, he came to stick here and destroy our families and friends. He never came to have if well of to be friendly with us. He came to destroy us here. We gotta be wise and meditate on the goodness of the Lord, brothers and sisters. Read our Bible and pray every day. This is what we need. That we will not be deceived. Because the Bible says if the elect will be deceived because of the work of the enemy, brothers and sisters. They had a man, they had a man who go cold. People be lover of themselves. Not love of God, brothers and sisters. People will even neglect God. They will, re they will reject the law. But help us, oh God, to keep us pressing on in our in our this in our time. To lean not on our own understanding. To save you, oh God. For that they will seek after our salvation with fear and trembling in the law. And so Father, I tell you, thank you that bless your name. I just glorify your name for you are good and faithful. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord. Promise and friends, let me decree you, God, increase, Father, God. Thank you for your word that is coming unto your people this hour. If you can use anything, Lord, you can use me. If you can use anything, Lord, you can use me. Oh, you can use me. If you can use anything, Lord, you can use me. If you can use anything, Lord, you can use me. Oh, you can use me. The little baby in a manger, 
The little baby in a manger. The little baby in a manger. Was lying there for you and me. He was lying there for the white man's sin. He was lying there for the black man's sin. He was lying there for the whole world's sin. He was lying there for you and me. The little baby in a manger. The little baby in a manger. The little baby in a manger. He was lying there for you and me. Fabulous and friends, the little baby that was laying in the manger when he was born. Through the virgin Mary. Hallelujah. He was laying in that manger, that little baby. Innocent laying in that manger, brothers and sisters. He was lying there for the whole world sin. Lying there for the black and white men. All colors in the world. Every colors in the world. He was lying there for the whole world sin. Not particular people, but the whole world. Not certain group of people in the world. I said the whole world sin. He was lying there for to come and set off free to bring joy to the world that through his blood you and I can be saved. But from this, a friend, today the message will be coming from the book of Luke, chapter 1, from verse 1 to 25, that telling you about the breath of Jesus Christ. Thank you. Let us just go into the, the message right now, brothers and sisters. Father, thank you for your word that's coming forth to your people. Father, the minute decree in this day, you go and increase, oh Father, your word that increase in this platform concerning your people, oh Father, concerning the breath of Jesus Christ as the message is coming above, oh Father. Let your people be the hearer and the doer of your word, O oh God. Thank you for the breath of Jesus. We just want to bless you for his breath this hour. We honor your name, O oh God, for his breath today. We glorify your name. It was joy to the world that he came to die. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Families and friends, brothers and sisters. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. I will read from Luke. First, then we'll go to Matthew. Thank you, Lord. Brothers and sisters, Luke chapter 2, tell the birth of Jesus. And it came to pass in those days. That was the time, brothers and sisters, that it went our a decree from Caesar Augustine that everyone should be able to pay the tax. Thank you, Lord. But brothers and sisters, from the book of Matthew, let me tell you from the book of Matthew first, brothers and sisters. Matthew, the book of Matthew tell you about the birth of Jesus Christ. Ha! Huh? He was sent her, the, the Holy Ghost came to Mary and tell her she will bring forth a child and the child will be called Jesus. Brothers and sisters, he will, she will conceive. He will conceive in the womb of Mary through the, through the power of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Mary was supposed to be born to Jesus Christ. They were supposed to be to, they, to get married. But then, brothers and sisters, Mary was not yet married to Jesus. And then um, to, Mary was just not yet married to Joseph. And then Joseph came to know that Mary was pregnant. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. But brothers and sisters, this, as the story goes by today, I'm going to read for you Luke chapter 2. Brothers and sisters, they always they went to the place to go and pay tax because this man, or Caesar Augustine, has Say or a decree that everyone should go and pay the tax. So he took Mary, brothers and sisters, to go to go pay the tax, brothers and sisters. Hallelujah. He took Mary, his wife, to go to Syria, brothers and sisters, to go to pay the tax. As it was said by Caesar Augustine that they should pay, everyone should pay the tax. So people had to travel to places, brothers and sisters, to go to Syria to go and pay the tax. And they went there in the city, brothers and sisters. Everybody went into the city to go and pay the tax. And Joseph also went from Galilee. He went with Mary from Galilee to the city of Nazareth. To Galilee. Into the city of David. That is called Bethlehem. For them to be able to pay the tax, brothers and sisters. Hallelujah. He went in to pay the two of them tax for the tax to be paid. And Mary, his spouse, wife, being great with child. That time she was already pregnant, brothers and sisters. She was already pregnant with a child. And that child is Jesus Christ today, brothers and sisters. As it was said, the child will be born, brothers and sisters. And it, it was when, while they were there, the three days accomplished, she, that she, she should be delivered, brothers and sisters. In that three days that they were there for, they went to see to go pay the tax in, in Judea, from Judea to go and go pay the tax. And she, and, 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 and she brought her, her first son, and, and wrap it in the manger. Thank you, Lord. Joseph and Jesus Christ was born into what? Into a place, brothers and sisters. Into a room. Into When they went, brothers and sisters, to where they went and could pay the tax. There was no room. So they have to sleep in the animal place. 
and when I slept in the animal place, this is what Jesus, this is where Jesus Christ was born, the king of the the king of the Jews, brothers and sisters, the king of kings, our savior. This is why you were born in the animal place, brothers and sisters. And the angels, brothers and sisters, as the story go on, the angels announced the birth of Jesus Christ to the shepherds. Hallelujah. The angels announced the birth of Jesus Christ to the shepherds that were working on the feet at that night, brothers and sisters. They were working on the feet in the night. And they were, they were looking after God's flocks, the shepherds. And then, brothers and sisters, and the angel came to bring the good news to them and tell them that the law, he brought the good news and the glory of the law was showing around the body angel. And they were so afraid when they saw the angels, the, the shepherds were afraid. But, and the angel said to them, fear not, for behold, I bring you good talent and with great joy. The angel told them, hallelujah, when they were afraid, the angel made them to them, told them, don't be afraid because I bring you good News of tiding of joy, we shall be to all people. That's what the angel told them. For unto you is born this day in the city of David, a savior, which is Christ the Lord. That's what the angel told them, brothers and sisters. And and there should be a son unto, unto you. Yes, shall find a baby wrapped in a manger. I mean, a baby wrapped or in a swelling clothes and lay in a manger. Thank you, Lord. This is why the angel is disclosing to them what they were found. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of heavenly. After he said that, brothers and sisters, there was a multitude of heavenly angels. Heavenly hosts of heavenly hosts that were praising God and saying, praising God, brothers and sisters. And it came to pass, they were praising God and glorifying God for the birth of Jesus Christ, our Savior today. And then it came to pass, brothers and sisters, as the angel were gone away, then into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, let us go and see. They are going to breath their hand to see of what the angels just told us about the child that is born unto us. And it came and it went with his promise and friends and for Mary and Joseph and the baby lying in the manger as the, as the angel dis disclosed to them. Hallelujah. And all the, that they heard wonder at the things which were told by the prophet, by the shepherds. And Mary kept all these things and pounded them in her heart. And the shepherd returned, glorifying God and praising God for all the things that had, they had heard because of the breath of Jesus Christ. Family and friends, they were praising God for what they have heard, what has come to pass that was fulfilled by the prophet Elijah, Jeremiah, that he said about the king of kings and saying that it was told unto them. They saw everything that was told unto them from the time they were born. They told them the story, what going to happen, brothers and sisters. And when the eight days were accomplished, for the circumcision of the child, his name was called Jesus, which was, which was so named by the angel before she was, he was even conceived in the mother womb. That's what the angel gave. The name he gave before he was even conceived in the womb. When he visited Mary and told her, you have had a favor of the law. Tell her among all women that you bring for a child. That would be called Jesus, brothers and sisters. The Holy Ghost have already found a name long time ago before the child even fall in the womb. And when the days of her purification were over, till the law of Moses were accomplished, they brought him into Jerusalem to present unto the law. After Jesus Christ was born, they brought him to Jerusalem, families and friends, to give him unto the law, as it was written in the law that every every male that opened the womb should be called holy to the law. Every male child. That open the womb of a mother during those days in Jerusalem should be called holy of the law. That was the doctrine of them, families and friends. Yeah, should be called holy of the law, brothers and sisters. Hallelujah, praise be to God. Yes. To present the child or to the Lord, brothers and sisters, that it that firstborn all the time in Jerusalem. 
the firstborn of every mother. If you're a boy, the child needs to be holy to the Lord, brothers and sisters. It's called holy of the Lord, brothers and sisters. And they offer sacrifice according to what is said in the law of the law. A pair of turtle doves and two young pigeons. This is what they offer, they offer, brothers and sisters, when Jesus Christ was born. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. But brothers and sisters, and behold, there was a man in Jerusalem whose name was Simon. And the sin was just and devour, waiting for the consolation of Israel. And the Holy Ghost was upon him. He was filled with the Holy Ghost. His name was Simon. He was waiting to see Jesus for the fulfillment of him to come to pass. Because Jesus, God told him, the Holy Ghost told him, that he would not see death until the breath of Jesus Christ. So when he saw Jesus Christ, brothers, and he was alive to see Jesus, he was so blessed and happy. Hallelujah. He was, the Bible described that he was filled with the Holy Ghost. His name was Simon. And it was revealed unto him by the Holy Ghost that he who not see death before he has seen the Lord Christ. It will reveal to him through the power of the Holy Ghost that he will not see death until he see the Christ that was born. And it came to pass by the Holy Spirit into the temple where the parents brought the child Jesus to be for him after the custom of the law. After the custom of the law, when the child is born, he carried the child to the church and carried the child to the law. So they went there for the custom to be fulfilled in the temple of the law. And they took him up in his arm and blessed him and said, he took him, brothers and sisters, as the custom. He took Jesus in the arm and blessed him. He said, he said Lord, how light, let us at that seven depart in peace, according to that word. He said, Lord, now. I have seen the great Messiah that is born, the Savior of the world, the King of the Jews. Now, I can live in peace. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. And now, after he said, he said, he said, my eyes have seen the salvation. He prays in God, just because of the power of Jesus that he had lived to see. He said, now my eyes have seen your salvation, God, which thou has prepared before the face of all people. A light to lighten the Gentiles and the glory of the people Israel. I have seen the light. And I have seen that light to let to lighten the Gentiles and the people of Israel to be saved. And Joseph and his and his mother married us at those things which were spoken of him. And they were amazed. And Samuel blessed them and said, Unto, unto Mary, his mother, behold. This child is set for the fall and rise again. And many in Israel for the son which shall be spoken against. He said the rise, this child has been born for the rise and fall. Jesus rise, he fell and he rose again. Hallelujah, thank you Lord. This is what death when I was in captive, when he was giving up for them to crucify him, brothers and sisters. He rose from the grave on the third day. This is why he saw the rise and fall of the child. Hallelujah. A soul shall pierce through his own soul. This is the soul that is pierced through. He's prophesying over his life again. Hallelujah. He said, A soul shall pierce through his soul. Also, that the thoughts of many hearts may be revealed. Then, also, brothers and sisters, then also come Anna. There was also one Anna. Han. Her name was Anna. Her name was Anna, a prophetess, a daughter of Penina, Penina, and a tribe of the ashes. She was a great age and had lived, it lived with a husband seven years for her virginity. As she was a widow of about four score and four years, which departed out from the temple, but said God, with fasting and praying night and days, this woman she served God no matter what. She was a widow, she was there and serving God night and day, brothers and sisters. Night and day, she was in the church. The church was her house, this is where she was. And she became, in that instant, she gave thanks levels unto the Lord and spoke of Him in all them that look for redemption in Jerusalem. Thank you, Lord. Everyone that looked for redemption in Jerusalem. This child was spoken on, brothers and sisters. So Samuel and Anna also released 
a prophecy and a word over Jesus Christ in the temple. Thank you, Lord, for what God has done. And then they returned to Nazareth. And they had performed all these things according to the law of the law. They returned to Galilee, to their own town, set in Nazareth. And the child grew and watched, strong in spirit, filled with wisdom and with grace of God was upon him. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. I've stopped the 40. Then I'm going to read for you. I stopped the 40 from this and friends. They're going to read for you Matthew now. I read, look, I'm going to read for you Matthew. Matthew chapter 1, verse, verse 17. I'll read for 41, yeah, 41. Oh, look, let me see. Let me see, 41. Yeah, I stopped to 40. I stopped to 40. 25 to 40. Then I'm going to read for you now. Matthew from this reference. Matthew from uh, 1. 1. Matthew chapter 1. From 17. Brothers and sisters. It's also telling about the birth of Jesus. I'm talking about the birth of Jesus today. I will save your promise and friends. Hallelujah. So be patient with me. The birth of Jesus Christ. Now the birth of Jesus Christ was on the wise. When asked, the mother Mary was supposed to marry Joseph. As I was saying, brothers and sisters. He was also, she was also married Joseph. Before they came together, she was already formed with child with the Holy Ghost families and friends. Hallelujah. Of the Holy of the of the Holy Spirit. Because the Holy Spirit came and visited when he told her she would bring forth a child. And the child would be called Jesus. She said, You said you are highly favored among women. The angel went to her. The Holy Ghost, Angel Gabriel went to her and told her she would bring forth a child. And the child name will be called Jesus. The Savior of the world, brothers and sisters. Jesus was conceived by the Holy Ghost. This why why he's not just normal child. Hallelujah. But families and friends, brothers and sisters, hallelujah. During the generation of David, brothers and sisters, Joseph was from the generation of David, the fourth generation, to Babylon, brothers and sisters, hallelujah. They were carried into Babylon, the, the fourth generation carried to Babylon, that were carried to Babylon. This is why Joseph came from, brothers and sisters. But the, then, brothers and sisters, she, she was formed with a child with the Holy Ghost, and Joseph, he been, brothers and sisters, he been knowing her, was sticking in his mouth is from Matthew 1, chapter 17 to 25, the story goes about. Joseph get to discover that Mary was with a child, whereby they have not yet come together. They were supposed to get married, but they were not yet married. But Mary will conceive, but Mary will form pregnant with Jesus Christ by the power of the Holy Ghost. So he was sticking in his heart, in his mind, and deciding what he should do, whether to pull away or not. But then the Holy Ghost came to him and tell him to not pull his wife Mary away because she's carrying a child and that child is called Jesus. Brothers and sisters, yes, that child name will be called Jesus. He shouldn't put him Mary. He should not put Mary, his wife, away. Then the Holy Ghost came to him in the dream to tell him because the Holy Ghost neither knew in mind what he was thinking about is to put Mary away. Brothers and sisters, but the Holy Ghost came and warned him to not do that. He said, Joseph, then Joseph, her husband, being a just man, God said he was a just man and willing and not willing to make a public. He was not willing to make a public example of, of Mary that she's from a child. He was not willing to do that. Was minded, he was what he was taking his mind to put her away privately, brothers and sisters. Privately, you're thinking to put her away privately. We're all not playing for getting to know, but privately. But why he was thinking about their brothers and sisters, the Bible maker to know that. When he went to bed, he had a dream about the Holy Ghost that came to him and tell him, say, Joseph, do fear not to take a, your wife Mary, Mary, your wife, which is conceived. He said, that which is conceived in her is of the Holy Ghost. That's why the Holy Spirit came to tell him. So he cannot put Mary away. Because he was taking negatively now to pull her away privately. But the Holy Ghost ministered unto him in his sleep to say, Do not pull her away. She's carrying the gift of the Holy Ghost in her. The child she's carrying in her. She's conceived of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. And she shall bring forth a son. And they shall call his name Jesus. For he shall save his people of their sins. 
This is why the word of God came to tell him in his sleep. Hallelujah. And now, after all this, all, now, all this thing was done that it might be fulfilled, which was spoken by the prophet Jeremiah. Thank you, Lord. Behold, the virgin shall be with a child and shall bring forth a son. And when, and they shall call his name Emmanuel, which may interpreted it, God is with us. Yes. Then Joseph rose after, after the angel told him, came to him in his sleep and tell him, and, and, and tell him that he gave him that dream. Then he rose from his sleep, brothers and sisters, as the angel of the law had what? Had in his heart and took on what? And took on to marry his wife. 25 said, and when, and knew her not till she had brought forth her firstborn and called his name Jesus. He knew not Mary until she born her firstborn, Jesus Christ, the Savior of the world. Brothers and sisters, you see how God is great? Verse 2, brothers and sisters, I read verse 1 now. I read verse 2 that said, I will also end the visitation of the, of the wise men, brothers and sisters. Now, when Jesus was born in Bethlehem in Judea, in the days of Herod the king, behold, there came men from the east to Jerusalem, saying, where is the, the king of the Jews that is born? We are looking for him because we saw his star from the east. And we came to worship him. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. The wise men, brothers and sisters, when Herod the king had heard all these things, brothers and sisters, they were, he was troubled. And Jerusalem with him, they were all troubled. And when he had gathered all the priests together and the strap of the people to go and demanded them to go and find Jesus. So they can, can tell him where Jesus Christ was born. He said they should go and go find Jesus where he is born. That he, unto, then he said unto them that in Bethlehem, and they said to him that he was born in Bethlehem, Judea. This is why his people told him the, Jew, the, 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 the Jews and the elders. For he said, this and the priests. He said, for this is written by the prophet, Jeremiah. Exactly what the prophet Jeremiah prophesied on. And in that Bethlehem, in the land of Judea, are not the least among the prince of Judah, for at thee shall come a governor that shall rule. My people Ezra, he was very, very angry about what the prophet had prophesied that there will come a prince out of that, out of that Judea that will rule, that will rule the whole Ezra because he was the ruler at that time. So it make him very angry, brothers and sisters. Then Herod, when he had privately called the wise men, he called the private, the wise men privately out. So Jesus started from the east, brothers and sisters. He called them privately and coming to talk to them, promise and friends. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. He talked to them privately. He said he want to require for this. He want to require, he said, require of them diligently what time, what time the stars appear. He, he asked them what time the star appear. He said, and he sent them to Bethlehem and said unto them, Go and search diligently for the young child. And when you have found him, bring me a word again that I may come and worship him also. Is that possible? The devil of all Satan, Babylon, king of Babylon, tell him, Go find with Jesus Christ, it's a wise man. Come and tell me where he is so I can come and worship him as well. That was not possible because the angel will not even allow that. Because a wicked man can never change his wickedness, family and friends. When he said wicked man in this world, he will turn around and kill you because he knows that he knows his great secret. He will send somebody else behind to kill you when he said on a mission. Wicked man is not to be trusted. You cannot wait for a wicked man because they are wicked, brothers and sisters. Thank you, Lord. And then, family and friends, and then when they went away, brothers and sisters, he said, so they can come, so he can come and worship, worship Jesus Christ as well. And when they had heard the king, they departed and went. They said, the star, and lo, the star which they saw in the east, went before, the star went before them. The star, the one that was leading them to the way to, to Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. They followed the star that was, and they followed the star, brothers and sisters, that was leading them to the place. And when they came forth to where they stood, the star came and stood. And stand right over where the child Jesus Christ was. He and Mother Mary and Joseph, his father. This is where the star stood. And when the star stood there, the wise men stood there, brothers and sisters. And when they saw the star, they rejoiced with a the joy. And when they were come into the house, 
brothers and sisters, they saw the young child with his mother Mary, and they fell down and worshipped him. When they fell down and worshipped him, brothers and sisters, and the king with louder, they opened the treasures. The king with gifts, sinker, uh, friends, incense, gifts, gold, and mirrors, and everything they brought to Jesus to come and give, give it to him as a gift. Because of the king of the Jews that have been born. Hallelujah. And being one of God, it, it dreamed to them that they would not return to Herod. God wanted in a dream to not return back to Herod. So brothers and sisters, what it did, it good to obey the voice of the Lord. It's good for you to be obedient. What it did is to depart and went into another, they took another way to go to the town. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. They took another way to go to the town, family and friends. Thank you, Lord. And when they were departed, behold, the angel of the Lord appeared to Joseph again in a dream. When they departed, the angel of the Lord appeared again to Joseph to tell, to tell Joseph that in a dream that arise and take the young child and his mother and flee into Egypt and be there until I bring you a war again because the, 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 the Herod is seeking for the young child to destroy him. Brothers and sisters, the, the enemy can never rest under the sun. Brothers, this is why we need to pray without ceasing about it. In first sense, or the first time we pray without ceasing. Families and friends, he will never give up until he fulfill his mission. Until his mission be accomplished, he cannot rest. He always be on God's people. He always be on people to deceive, to kill, and destroy. You know that his mission, John 10, 10, he came to what? To seek, kill, and destroy. But Jesus came to me, how love and have a mother abandoned it. This is the mission of the devil, families and friends. He's not in invited for you to compromise with, with the devil. He got nothing to give you. He got nothing to offer you. Do not compromise with the devil in this world. Do not sign any deal with him. And now when, and Jesus and the angel told him, he said, take him because the angel is, the, the Herod is looking for the child to destroy the child. So take your, the, the, the child now and flee to Egypt. When he arose that day, brothers and sisters, he took the young child and his mother. By the night, they went in the night, they departed from Egypt, brothers and sisters. And then, until they will stay there until Herod died. They were there in Egypt until Herod died, families and friends. And he, they will stay there when Herod died because he was waiting on the Lord. Because the Lord thinks they be in Egypt. And I will come and give you another message to tell you where to leave with the child and the mother. So you should be in Egypt. Hallelujah, Lord. He said they were there until the death of Herod that it might be fulfilled. Which the, the, what was spoken by the law, the prophet saying, Out of Egypt have I called my son. Thank you, Lord. Which is Jesus Christ, brothers and sisters. 16. Then Herod, when he saw that he was mocked by the wise men, was extremely with anger and wrath, and sent forth his people there to slim all the people's children in breath to him. Every firstborn child, he slim them, brothers and sisters, in breath to him. How wicked he was from two years old on. He killed all the people, children, the poor firstborn. Hallelujah. God have mercy upon wicked people. Hallelujah. He killed all the firstborn in, 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 in Bethlehem, brothers and sisters, just because he couldn't find Jesus. This is sad. From two years on, brothers and sisters, he killed every one of them. The time which he had diligently required of the wise men. Then was fulfilled that which was spoken by Jeremiah the prophet. Everything Jeremiah spoke about, that what has come to pass concerning Herod, concerning Jesus Christ's breath, concerning everything, brothers and sisters, hallelujah. And there they stood, brothers and sisters, they were there in Ramai. The prayer in Ramai was there a voice heard of lamentation and weeping, a great mourning, Rachel mourning for her children. And will not be comforted because they were not. Hallelujah, Lord. But when Herod was dead, behold, an angel of the Lord appeared in a dream again after Herod died to Joseph and come to tell Joseph what to do. He said, Arise and take the young child and his mother and go into the land of Israel. The angel is commanding again what to kill the child for dead. Are dead, which are sowing for the new child left to be killed. They are dead already. And he arose and took the new child and his mother and came into the land of Israel. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. But when he heard that 
Abbasada did reign in Judea in the room of his father, Herod. He was afraid to go hidden, notwithstanding being warned of God in a dream. He turned He turned Esa into the part of Galilee. Thank you, Jesus. Families and friends, I stop here today. I stop here now. Oh, I gotta read the last one. And he came and dwelt in the city called Nazareth. The same place that it came from. Hallelujah. That it might be fulfilled, which was spoken by the prophet in Jeremiah. Thank you, Lord. This is why he dwelt in Nazareth. What was fulfilled? The same place that he came from. The same place he went, brothers and sisters. He shall be called Nazarent. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Brothers and sisters, the words of the Lord, thanks be to God. This word came today to you, brothers and sisters, because of the breath of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Um, the breath of Jesus today, families and friends. Hallelujah. Praise be to Yahweh. Thanks be to God for the message today that I have come, brothers and sisters. This is Jesus Christ today that is born today. To keep and save the world. He came to save the world. He brought, brought light to the world. In our darkness, he brought light to the world. Families and friends. Hallelujah. So today is the day of re rejoicing with great joy and gladness that has come. That Jesus Christ is born. That brought peace and joy to the world. Hallelujah. Joy to the world. The, the Lord has come. Hallelujah. I want to thank God. Thank you for the word I have come for. Families and friends. Hallelujah. Praise be God. Bless every heart that will listen to the word today. Families and friends, share my videos. Leave a comment and share the video to families and friends who want to listen to the word of God. And subscribe to this channel, brothers and sisters. You are not here by mistake. And God richly bless you. Hallelujah. Joy to the word. Hallelujah. Father, I tell you, thank you that bless you for your word I have come for and bless your people in this season. Thank you for the new week. Thank you, O oh God, for the last days of this year, of this month. And thank you for the new year that is coming. The great and wonderful thing you're going to do for us. We want to bless your name. Have your way, let it be done. Thank you for your word I have come for, O oh God. Then take roots into the heart of your people that the level never be the same. I tell you, thank you, Father. I bless your name to have your way. Jesus Christ, brother, never lose his power. Reign and move in your life. To destroy principalities and power and darkness. All your love, your family, and your children in the name of Jesus. And your grandchildren. I thank, thank you, Papa. Bless your name. Have your will. It will be done all your life with your people, not the will of your enemy. Because greater is you that live in us than he that's in the world. No weapon from the kingdom shall prosper. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. As I have the first 17. He that do a son, not the one say, He that do in the secret place of the most high God shall bow on the shadow. Or he go almighty. I will say unto the Lord, He's my right, He's my refuge, He's my defender, He's my provider. Thank you, Jesus. He's my healer. I bless your name, O oh God. I honor your name now for in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Brothers and sisters, the Christian prayer will be taken from the book of Numbers, chapter 6, that says, May the Lord keep you. Numbers chapter 6, verse 24 to 26. It reads, May the Lord keep you. May the Lord make a face to shine upon you. May the Lord be gracious unto you and give you peace and surpass your understanding. Peace I live for you now and forevermore. Until another live video, families and friends, shalom. Stay blessed.